Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always we're joined by top barbecue chef Mr Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video we're going to be doing a paprika chicken paprika chicken breast and we're going to serve it in a wrap with some really fresh uh, salad and some pepper and onions. Really simple, really really fresh. So Richard, talk us through this dish. So we've got four chicken breast fillets here. We've opened them out. If you want to see how to do that, check out one of the videos on the YouTube channel. So we've just opened those out. We've seasoned those with regular paprika, smoked paprika, lemon juice, and a little bit of cold pressed rapeseed oil. So they just get marinated for about 20 minutes. Then we're gonna put those onto the barbecue and when they're cooked, we'll bring them out and we'll serve those in a pitta with some garlic mayo, some shredded lettuce, some strips of red pepper, and some uh, finely sliced red onion as well. So if we go over to the barbecue, we've got our barbecue preset for 220, and we've got it nicely cleaned off. So what we'll do is just take these chicken breasts. Okay. Oh, sorry, okay. So opening out the chicken breasts just helps them to cook a little bit quicker. I'll just pop you, give you that back. There we go. Just allows them to cook a little bit quicker. Pop the lid down, we'll give those three, four minutes. We'll come back, turn them over. So we're giving our chicken five minutes. Here we have, let's give them a check. Come away from the grill nice and easily. Just turn those over. So lid back down again, give those another few minutes and we'll come back, we'll check the internal temperature we're using the uh, temperature probe and then we'll know when they're ready to come off. So should we check the chicken now? Let's check the chicken. We've got, what have we got? We've got 73, 74, 75. Let's have a check again. So we're just going to check a few pieces as we always do in these videos. So 76, 75.1. 76.2 so they are good to go so let's bring this chopping board over so it doesn't matter that the chicken uh, the, the scallops have separated because what we're actually going to do with these is slice them into strips so that when we put them into the pitters they're nice and easy to uh, eat rather than you biting into it and trying to tear out a whole slice of chicken. Normally let these rest, give them a good 10 minutes. Easy way to think about it, give them as long as they've cooked for, just wrap them in foil, leave them somewhere warm, pop some tea towels around them to act like duvets and away you go. But we're just going to slice these down. With the tray get that, you get that beautiful little pink hue around the outside of the meats and it's really prominent on the on the lighter meats and that is just the smoke ring. Um, some people see that on the Traeger and they think, oh, is it cooked? Well, if it's, it can't be cooked on the inside and raw on the outside. Yeah. So if it's pink, don't worry about it. We've, that's the reason why we temperature check it to make sure that it is cooked. Beautiful little piece, piece of chicken there. And then do you want to um, start by just taking two of those pitters, just yeah. pop a little bit of garlic mayo inside each one. We'll just make two. We don't need any more, do we really? No. No. So, I'll just chop this down. Chicken cooked all the way through on the barbecue. If you want other chicken recipe ideas, check out the other videos on the uh, YouTube channel. And once we've got this last piece done, is this one ready to go? Yep. So what we'll do is we can actually, do you know what, I'll build one, you'll build, build okay. one. So we'll take our salad, pop some of that inside the pitta. So just pop a little bit of onion in there as well. And then I'm going to take some of the chicken, pack that down. Make sure they get chicken all the way to the bottom of the pitta. There we go. And then... I'm going to go for some slices of red pepper, some more little bits of red onion, and just a few bits across the top as well. That. Oh, mine's finished. Okay. I'm just following. I'm going to wait for your instructions, <laughs> you know. It's been a long day. It's been a really long day. 
been a hot day as well. So cheers. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers to the end of a really, yeah, a really good day of filming. So, so if you want to find the recipe for this dish, visit the website hayesgardenworld.co.uk. The recipe will be in the blog on there. If you want to find anything about any of the equipment we've used today, visit the staff here in store. Um, mm. We'll go talk you through the, the Traeger range, any of the equipment we use, the knives, anything. We've, we sell most of it. We're um, not wearing the leather Whitloft aprons today, but they're available in, in store as well. It's too hot for them. It's too hot. So all that's left for us to say is thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time. See you next time.